Hello and welcome to Rough Cut Film Review. This is a review of a Serbian film. So this was banned in a number of countries since its 2010 release and I'm pretty sure it was banned in the US and heavily cut in other countries that it was actually released in. Now I'm a huge horror fan but I do get very bored and very cross with what has become known as torture porn. I wish Eli Roth would go back to making Cabin Fever and get away from the dull gross for the sake of being gross nonsense we've had in Hostel and the sequels and the sequels to the Saw film and actually when the Saw films try to moralise and turn Jigsaw sort of into a postmodern Hannibal Lecter I got really bored, irritated and fed up. I've tried to do a Saw special twice now and by that I mean I've tried to watch all of the Saw films. I think I've got to four, just couldn't bear any more of the nonsense. It's not too bloody, it's not too gory, it's not too scary, it's just too boring. It just makes me cross. So anyway, there we are. In many ways I would probably liken a Serbian film more to the Human Centipede films in terms of shock or exploitation. And again, I dislike the Human Centipede films for being sick for the sake of being sick. That's not why I love horror films, and it's a big reason that horror films get blamed for all of society's ills every time something goes wrong in society the Daily Mail will come out and go oh this is all horror films fault the killer once saw a horror film and therefore they make people kill that makes perfect sense so that's just an idea of where I'm coming from when I watch a Serbian film now first thing for me to say is that there have been positive reviews very positive reviews about a Serbian film but other people have come out and said that actually these positive reviews are seeing things in the film they're seeing themes they're seeing you know whatever it might be that isn't actually really there they are themselves putting that into the film. Now, I don't think this is a fair criticism because people do the same thing for really good films. If you see a really good film, you see themes in there that the director didn't necessarily intend, but people will say that is the mark of a truly great film. So I don't think it's fair to then criticise and say, well, actually, the director didn't intend that. You're just seeing that because arguably it follows the logic. So anyway, obviously, I'm not an insider in terms of Serbian modern history and culture. I'm an outsider. I'm an outsider who's got an understanding of events but I am an outsider as an outsider I can see that there are definitely deliberate political allegories and parallels in terms of corruption and exploitation so this stuff to some extent is definitely intended to be in the film it's rough It was sold as an art film rather than a shocker. But there is skill in it and it's not utterly witless, which is a complaint I would make to the Hostel films, for example. The closest reference I can probably make is actually, again, to a video game. It's Hotline Miami. It's a game in which your character, for little or no reason, he just gets phone calls and then basically he just goes around murdering gangsters. And there's pretty much no reason to it. But it makes almost a sort of literate or artistic statement about murder being utterly without reason and I get a glimpse of that sort of nihilistic state in a Serbian film the basic premise the the main premise for a Serbian film is that Serbia is a victim and it gets very literal and it gets very literal with the long-standing idea that sex and death are very closely related and if you keep following that line this is an exploitation film about exploitation and I believe that is absolutely the case so the setup anyway let's go right the way back to the beginning with the setup. We've got a semi-retired male porn star who drinks whiskey and smokes constantly, but somehow he is still the greatest male porn star going. You know, he's the best one out there, if you know what I mean. Women he has sex with on camera instantly fall in love with him because he's got the goods. Now, he's become a family man, but money's tight. He signs up to a big payday with the kicker being that basically he knows nothing about the production. The director says, well, you know, it's got to be natural. You know, porn is, it's not just porn, you're an artist. This is life. This is real experience. This is real sex. It's not porn, it's just filming real sex. So we, the audience, go, "Uh uh-oh, I don't like the way this is going. He sort of goes, well, you know, that's my thing. That's, you know, that's what I'm here for. So off he goes to an orphanage. For me, the film starts to lose me and does lose me in the way that the protagonist reacts to the violence and unfortunately that is the heart of the film. I have read that the film is made about the exploitation of the Serbian people, I think that's very obvious, but I read somewhere, you know, something written by a Serbian that the film is made by the wealthy son of a member of the rich elite who has done the historical exploiting in Serbia, so it's interesting to read, doesn't necessarily ring true, but it's interesting to get that sort of perspective on it. Currently on sort of web score aggregation sites, 
this is sitting on about 5 out of 10. But I very much doubt anyone anywhere gave this film 5 out of the 10. Either you think this is film is a profound assault on the senses, or you think it's completely meritless. This is a high score or a low score. It is not a 5 out of 10 film. You love it or you hate it. And it's the hate in the film that either gives it its power or makes it irredeemable, depending on your outlook. However, in terms of the production, you can't fault it. It's slick, it's professional, and it's relatively expensive. It looks really good, if you can say that about watching such awful things. Whether you agree with the concept of the film or not, and I completely understand if you don't, for me, what elevates this over others in that very destructive niche of films, of things like The Human Centipede, is the fact that the quality here is just a lot better in terms of the acting, the direction, the cinematography, the script, even though I don't speak Serbian. Tom Six, who made the Human Centipede films, seems to think that if you put something in black and white, not only do you get through censorship, but if you use black and white, you are, by virtue, an avant-garde director. I think that a Serbian film splits audiences in a very similar way to Lars von Trier's film Antichrist. While this is less art house than that was, this is as obsessed with male genitalia and sexuality as von Trier's film was obsessed with female genitalia and female sexuality. As I've said, the trouble with the film really for me is that it's nasty. I don't mean that nasty things happen because I honestly think you can have a a, a well-meaning film where nasty stuff happens. But this film has a black heart. Secondly, as the film goes on, the director, who actually does a pretty good job, at one stage he loses control of proceedings and it becomes a bit of a mad dash to smash as many taboos before its two hours are up. And again, for me, this is the director making a rod for his own back and it weakens his argument that this film serves an artistic purpose, which, by the way, I think it does. Even the title is very divisive because it implies that this is a film that represents the entire country. It might have had a better claim claiming it represents the service Serbian family with what happens in the plot etc etc I can understand why from the film I can understand why it makes this bold claim but inevitably people are going to get very upset by this if Kill List had been called a British film and actually I'd argue that it's got far more right to do so than a Serbian film does to call itself a Serbian film then it would have caused outrage but rightly or wrongly it doesn't have that level of brashness and therefore didn't upset people if a Serbian film wanted to upset people and I'm not entirely sure that it didn't mean to do so then it certainly succeeded. The film is animalistic it is shocking. If if from my review you, you quite fancy seeing it and getting it on DVD, I probably recommend instead you give Kill List a go. It's a similar film, it's a better film, it's a more intelligent film and ultimately it's far less disgusting, there's far less gross out things going on but they are far more powerful. It's that sort of less is more thing. In fact actually I was more shocked by Kill List because it had a lot more power over me. Or if you absolutely must watch a film that's obsessed with uh, genitalia then I'd give Excision a crack so to speak. Or Teeth, both of which have got a bit more humour about, well a lot more humour than the Serbian film which is very very black and a bit sterile actually funnily enough. So I mean throughout the review really I've deliberately sat on the fence I'm you know it's like me and Marmite I don't actually love Marmite nor do I hate it I'm a weirdo that just thinks it's you know I don't mind Marmite I don't like this film but I don't hate it either it's very competently made I just don't think it's that interesting kind regards Christopher Thomas (laughs) 